Okay guys, so in this video, we are going to build our own siren that we can use for DIY security systems and show an application to laser tripwire. Sometimes you need a siren for notifying you something has happened, whether it be an intruder in your home or it doesn't be alerted that something is happening. It just pays to have a siren system. However, on searching the internet, I found that many of the siren circuits seem to be intended for two applications rather than a loud siren we can really use to alert us if something happened. They all seem to be based around a small NPN transistor and a buzzer of some sort, like this one. Or even if the driver speaker, they sounded like this. Commercial systems that use a laser tripwire and cheap either, so I set out to build my own. I first considered building a microcontroller based system, then I thought it would be fun to build a siren using analog components. This would allow me to run the system on one voltage level and makes life easier. So I drew a block diagram and saw the easiest way to build an alarm system was to first produce a square wave in an audible frequency range and then amplify it. I decided that a 555 timer would be the easiest way to generate a square wave as it works across multiple voltages. So I drew the schematic shown here, grabbed the breadboard and got to work. After testing several frequencies with IC, I settled on about 3.3 kHz as it was very air splitting and quite annoying. The wave produced by the 555 was good as always and was stable. If we listen to the wave at this point through a speaker, it is very inaudible, just like the other circuits we found online. So to solve this problem and keep component cost low, I decided to build a class A amplifier using MOSFETs as shown in the schematic. If you aren't familiar with MOSFETs, check out my link in the description below. The output capacitor to the speaker was a very large 2200 microfarad one rated at 25 volts. Pay special attention to that low resistor as it must be a wiring resistor able to handle these 50 watts. Since I didn't have any resistors with that power written on Nichromore to build my own, I decided that the best thing to do was to use a 5 watt once for testing and even though this got very hot for running in the morning few seconds, this served well for my purpose. The circuit worked well and the siren was pretty loud, here listen for yourself. The next step was to find a way to switch the circuit on. Since the amplifier drew a lot of power, I decided to use a tyristor for this purpose. The fact that the tyristor latches and stays latched is fine for this application. All you'd have to do to turn off the alarm is reset the circuit. I selected the 70 TPS16 which can handle up to 70 amps of current up to 1600 volts. A little overkill for this application but these specifications ensure the device runs cool. The next step was to find a way to switch on the tyristor. Since the tyristor has a very low voltage at a gate to turn on, I decided the comparator would be used to turn on the tyristor. Since I had some spare LM358 up amps, I decided to use these as comparators. We will use a photoresistor to trigger the comparator and we connect everything as shown in the schematic. The laser that I used is the generic ones and since it's for testing it will be powered by a separate power source and I chose to use this lithium ion battery. After I connected everything, I fine tuned the potentiometer on the comparator until it was acceptable. We see that the circuit works in both light and dark applications. The circuit is good and can even be powered by batteries and was tested at both 6 and 12 volts. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel.